And this is what she looks like with her tiara on. And this is what the gift looks like all together. The scrapbook case on the bottom with the turtle and the legend of the sand dollar. And here is the other mermaid. I have to say that I love the colors on her. I just love the blue colors. And here's her tiara on in place. So now I'm just going to show you the gift packs that I made. First I just wanted to show you the stingray, the difference in size. This is day six for the stingray. You can see how it looks real. My granddaughter loves looking at it every day to see it change. It actually grows over 10 days. And this is what it starts out as. And here's the blue mermaid. And she has a locket that you can open and put pictures in. And her tail. And here's my little pony mermaid that will go with it. Legend of the Sand Dollar. And then of course I show what goes in the blue case also. The background is what my granddaughter helped me make. She made the little jellyfish with her teacher. And then here is the pink mermaid. And then here's the other little mermaid pony. And this just shows where you paint your own frame for the Legend of the Sand Dollar, which I printed up these. I'll have these available for download on my Helen May Crochet YouTube channel Facebook page. And the group files is free to join my group. But you can find these online as well. And then the little octopus also grows. And then over here, the dolphin also grows. And I got those at Dollar Tree. And again, the mermaids. Now the mermaids will come off of the stands. So this is what the mermaid looks like off of the stand. And on the back you can see the sleeve where the stand goes to hold up the mermaid. This is what the stand looks like without the mermaid on it. And here is the other mermaid doll off of the stand. And then here is the sleeve on the back, what it looks like for holding up your mermaid. And you can see how you can easily remove from the stand. And to place it back on, you just easily slip her back onto the stand. It works nicely if you don't want to make your own. And I got this stand again at Bed Bath & Beyond for only like $10. For this crochet project you're going to need your 4 millimeter crochet hook as well as a pair of scissors and your tapestry needle. Go ahead and choose whatever yarn that you want for your hair. For one of my dolls I used this blue, pretty blue yarn and this is what it looks like after I made the scalp and then put some hair on. So for my other doll I'm going to use a pink, red hard pink yarn. And this color is Pretty in Pink by Red Heart. For the tail I used Red Heart Super Saver and the color I used was Macaw. Here's some information on this yarn. And here's the amount. I just used one skein. I also used Red Heart Super Saver 
minty green for the tail. Here's some more information on this yarn. And again, I only used one skein of this yarn. So now for mine, I'm going to change colors to my minty green, so I'm not going to use any more of this. I'm just use this color for the tail. For the shirt, I used my Red Heart Super Saver, and this is baby pink yarn. For my earrings, I used Dress It Up. There's a website called dressitup.com. These are seashells. You can see how you have all these buttons with the seashells. And they have little loops on the back for sewing these in place. For mine, the buttons were large enough to where my larger tap tapestry needle could fit easily through the back loop. If you want the sequins on the mermaid tail, I used my Treehouse Studios sequins. They come in a pack. This is the iridescent, 24 grams. It's round cup, 10 millimeter. If you want to put the sequins onto the mermaid tail, you can use a sewing needle and thread to do that, but I like to use my tapestry needle, so if you want to use a tapestry needle like I do, then make sure that it's slender enough and has a large enough eye to fit the monofilament, and it has to fit through the center of your sequin. And then I like to use the Beetalon Supplement Clear Monofilament. This is on my leftover. It's a thicker, sturdy, almost like fishing line very strong. I had 17 beads on mine and what's nice about these strung glass pearls is that they put they tied a knot between the two sets of pearls. There's actually more on this second set but I'm only going to use 17. I used my Beetalon supplement 0 .010 inch, 0.25 millimeter monofilament for the pearls. And I also used a very thin tapestry needle with a large eye so the monofilament will fit right through. And then you can string the bead. Now you could use a needle and thread but it won't be as strong as the monofilament. You can use whatever locket that you want for your doll. This one opens up. I just wanted to show a close-up of some of the toys that I got for my dolls. This I got from Target. It's a little princess tiara. And it comes off, so I make it so it's removable, so the, per the child can actually wear it. And they each come with a little charm. This one has a flounder charm. For this crochet project, you're going to need your 4 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a pair of scissors and your tapestry needle. And here's a close-up of what it looks like on the doll. You can see how the hair goes right through the back of the tiara. And I also got this little baby shark and the little fish with the different colors and numbers because my granddaughter likes the baby shark song 
and the Mommy Shark and the Daddy Shark song that this will go with. These are adorable. They're not that much. They're around $8 at Target. This is a Sea Pony. This is Applejack. And I got two of them. This one is called Pinkie Pie. I got a coloring book with stickers to go with each of one, each of them. This one has Ariel in it, the mermaid, Disney princess, and then this one's Finding Dory. A lot of sea creatures and fish. And then my granddaughter's going to help decorate them with these crayons, these little finger crayons. They also have these fun sun catcher fish. I just got the same one, a couple of the same ones. They have these cute turtles. It's actually a cold pack, but you can also play with them too as just a squishy toy. The other fun thing I saw are these little sea creatures that you add to water and they're supposed to grow. So I found, um, here's a stingray. I got two of these, and then I got two of the octopus, one to go with each of the mermaids, and then they had this dolphin, so I got two of those. So I'm actually going to open one up to see how it works. I'm going to do the stingray because I don't think it's as cute. And I just want to see how big they actually get. I got one of these for my, not this, but something similar that grows for my nephew, and he just loved it. So I'm going to see how these work. And of course, these are always great for bath time. I still have the ones that I had gotten from before. So I got one of each to go with the mermaids. Okay, so this thing says that it grows up to 600%. And on the instructions, it says to submerge the creature in a large container full of room temperature water. And that I'm supposed to make sure there's enough room for the creature to grow. It may take up to 10 days to grow completely. So we're going to watch how it grows to 600% of its original size. When you remove it from the water, the creature will slowly shrink back as it dries. And it supposedly can be grown again and again. So I'm going to see and just show you how it works on video. So I removed it from this package and it actually just feels like a regular toy. It's not too squishy, it's actually kind of stiff. So even if you didn't want to submerge it in water to see it grow, it's still a fun, flexible toy and it's not too squishy. But here I have my Tupperware and I have some room temperature water. And this is day one. I'm going to mark it and just show you how it grows each day for the next 10 days. This thing looks eerily real, so I can't wait to show it to my granddaughter, see how she reacts to it. It looks real. It freaked my husband out and my granddaughter won't touch it. <laughs> it is bigger, but it's still kind of stiff too, so it's not too squishy. This is what he looks like on day four. He's getting really big. Let's see. So this is day six and it's gotten very big, a lot bigger, and it's still very firm too, but it has um, swelled up larger whoops and it looks real my granddaughter loves to see it getting bigger every day it's really cute I just wanted to show the cases that I made this is just a scrapbook case that I got on sale. It's clear so you could see through it. And it's about an inch to an inch and a half thick. And here's one that I made. I'm just going to show you the other one, then I'll tell you how I made them. So here is the other one. And yes, this, this has a real shell in here that you can open and it has a pearl in it. And then I taped to the top some information about the pearls once you open them. 
also has some sand dollars that I glued onto the canvas and a little starfish and this goes with the shell that you open it just talks a little bit about it the shell comes in this box and here's the cover to the box I had to cut it out it has a mermaid on the front called a love pearl your wish awaits you and I just wanted to have that inside so that the person would be able to read it and know what it is but it actually comes in this box and then this tape to the top is a little shovel to help get the pearl out it comes with the kit and in the kit you also get this mermaid necklace which is what I'm gonna put onto one of my mermaids as a necklace and it comes in this little case that it has and the little heart is a spongy heart so I mean, you could use that for painting too if you wanted to I used a three pack canvas panel 8 by 10 inches to paint my canvas I just used Sargent Art it's a non-toxic for ages 3 plus comes with six colors washable paints I also use this 10 pack glitter glue has assorted colors I use the blue one I like these because they also come with a little stopper so it doesn't dry out as quickly once you've opened it I also used a little bit of super glue to hold some of my stuff on the first thing that I did was just put some construction paper some blue construction paper to line the bottom of my case and I taped it down on the edges and along the back making sure that it doesn't hang over the sides of the scrapbook and then the canvas I just set in there after I painted it so you can see how I painted it blue these pictures I just printed offline just found some fish pictures and then I super glued my shells onto the canvas and this is what this one looks like for my other one you can see the differences. I put, still have the construction paper on the back that I taped down, and then I decided to put a handmade with love because this is a gift for someone else that I'm making this for. It has the shells inside, and this is the one shell that you can open up and get a pearl. And then I have this starfish that I glued, super glued on, and then a fish picture and then some information about the pearl then here I put the legend of the sand dollar inside this picture frame this inexpensive picture frame and I was able to glue this beautiful shell I use super glue of course to the corner of the frame if you want you can also paint your own picture frame I got this picture frame from a craft store it doesn't have glass or anything on the center so this is just the picture that I printed of the sand dollar and then I just painted with my paints the same paints I showed you I just painted it in blue all around it and I kind of made it look like waves ocean waves and then I glued super glued the same type of shell onto the corner there's a cute little dolphin carving. I don't know if you can see it very well. That's on the real shell. I also got these gorgeous turtles. They look real expensive, but I actually found them really cheap. This one was only 20. And then I got the smaller one for 14. And you could use whatever sea creatures that you want, or you don't even have to use these, but I thought they were adorable. So I'm going to add these for the decorative portion for my mermaids.